We're excited about getting back to uh, Neville Arena. Um, first time, uh, I guess, since uh, early March of a year ago. Um, coming off of uh, the, the, the exhibition game against Furman, you know, again, we talk about getting exposed um, uh, in some ways. I thought, I thought we played pretty hard defensively. Um, we were able to create some offense from our defense. Um, and it was the first time we kind of got in some rotations um, against another opponent. It was good. Uh, Furman runs really good stuff. And um, so it was good preparation for us. Um, we didn't shoot it very well. Um, and we'll need to execute a lot better offensively against uh, Florida Atlantic. Florida Atlantic um, is a really good team. And, uh, you know, this was, uh, this was something that we've been working on for a while in the sense that um, this is the first time that we've been able to play a Division I team in the exhibition season. Um, and uh, Florida Atlantic, back-to-back -back NCAA tournament team, two years ago, Final Four. Uh, new coach from Baylor. Uh, who had been with Scott Drew for a long time, but he's before that Mark Few, before that international basketball. So they've got, they're going to run, again, they're going to really, really good stuff, hard to guard stuff, um, and an excellent, again, an excellent preparation. The difference between Furman and Florida Athletic would be the athleticism. They're, they're, they've got SEC size on the front line, uh, length, and um, veteran, older guards, um, good depth, multiple defensively. And um, you know, a team in the um, in the American Conference. Um, it's not a Power Four, but it's just right there, right? Just right there. So uh, we will have to play better against Florida Atlantic than we did than we did Furman to to win the game. Chris, you got an update on Miles? How he's doing? Yeah, Miles had his first contact practice yesterday. And so he's available and will play. He he won't play a ton of minutes uh, because of uh, just getting back and getting in condition. But it'll, it'll be great to have him back after being out a couple of weeks. Bruce, how was the uh, how was the point guard play the other day against Furman? How do you how do you feel about it? You know, J P had to go back to Furman where he had played, and so that was, um, you know, that was tough for him. And. Uh, you know, because he's, he was a great teammate. He had great friends there. He's loyal, Furman, for three years. Did a great job for them. Um, so they they probably did a few things to try to make sure that he didn't get a whole lot of good looks. And uh, he handled it well. Led us in defensive rebounding and as a guard at the guard spot. Um, um, played played three point guards. Uh, played Tahad and Denver and JP. And that would, that's that's what I would anticipate doing again um, on Friday night. Typically, we've played two, but I think all three guys have warranted some time there um, at the position. And uh, I thought overall the point guard play was, was good and, and will continue to hopefully get better. Bruce, uh, it seemed like in the, in the Furman game, both Tahad and Ja'Kai had. And let me, let me just finish that. When I say I thought the point guard play was good and, 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 and will continue to get better, is all three guys are brand new at the position this year. Like, so that was literally their first game, every one of them. And, uh, man, I, I don't know when I can think of the last time, maybe my first year, where 40 minutes of point guard play will be from a player that did not play either for me a year ago or play the position a year ago. It seemed like Tahad and Ja'Kai both had – you know, really good performances against Furman had their had their moments. How impressed were you with them as true fresh? I know it's not a game that counts, but their first game against D1 con, uh, competition did pretty well. Well, like I said, um, I've said this before, between 15 and 20 percent of the top 100 freshmen in the country at Power Five schools average double-digit points in double-digit minutes, and they both did that in their first contest. So I think they both did they both did well. Um, I think both are going to be real contributors for us. They both have a, a different level speed and athleticism and jumping ability and ap absolutely are going to be crowd favorites because of their, because of their athleticism. And uh, they're going to do a lot of really good things. Now, they're going to, they're going to make some mistakes because they're freshmen. Um, 
but they're good. And they're going to be a big part of this team. What did you see from, from Cheney against Furman? I know you sort of challenged him, you know, a, a week ago to start being a little bit more aggressive. Yep, he got in foul trouble a little in the first half. And, um, but I thought he had a really solid second half. His athleticism showed. Um, he's got a tough matchup uh, against Baba Miller um, um, for uh, the Florida State transfer. And when I say a tough matchup, just in the sense of a 6'11 uh, four man that can put the ball down the floor and it's got some skills and ball handling skills and things like that. So um, it'll be good. It'll be a good matchup for him. Um, you know, Janai will be going. Uh, Janai and Dylan will be going up against a you know seven foot uh, freshman center who's probably as a as a foreign player, probably a little older as a freshman. Good player, um, big, and uh, so I think they're. I think the guys are will be more challenged in each of their individual matchups. Um, I thought Cheney, um, again, you, you, you'll see him, when you see him this year, he's bigger, stronger, faster, and more powerful than he was a year ago. In fact, I was watching, I was watching some tape of a year ago just recently, and I could hardly recognize Cheney. He looked, he looked really small compared to, com compared to his size right now. Coach, can you speak on tomorrow? Obviously, is a charity exhibition game, and what that means for the program that we're raising money for. Yep, this is. I am so excited about this opportunity, um, and I want to thank John Cohen and our athletic department, our leadership, university, uh, because we had to appeal to the NCAA to allow this charity to be where the funds went to, rather than a traditional disaster relief or you know cancer or heart or something along those lines. And I think it's just great. Obviously, the combination of the Melton Scholars Program with uh, the Together We Will Scholarship, um, trying to recruit the very best students to come to the very best university, and in particular, first-generation students or st students who maybe economically, Auburn may have been a little out of the reach, and provide them with the kind of scholarship that would attract them and the, the kind of services that would retain them. And, uh, man, I, I, I'm really excited about it. And... Uh, the proceeds from this game are going to go to that scholarship. That's a, you know, that's that's a big commitment from the from the athletic department uh, to you know forego the revenue that will generate from what is virtually a sellout. And like I said, how many times have you ever heard me say this? Tickets are available to buy to, for purchase to an Auburn basketball game. Like I haven't said that in ten, you know, five, six years at least. And. Um, and everybody that buys a ticket is actually going to be kind of making a donation to the scholarship program, which is, which is I think, really, really cool. And then we hope that when people come to the game, they hear more about the scholarship program, that maybe as they evaluate their giving to Auburn, it might be something that would strike a nerve with them and say, you know, I, I, I'd like to sponsor one of those students. So excited about it. Bruce, how much have you seen your guys who returned, the, the, the second-year guys, how much – maybe more confident, more comfortable they are on defense, especially, um, you know, as guys that have been through it before. And, and other, do you see a difference in those guys, you know, so far this season? Well, you can see a difference in the, in the, in the, in the returning players compared to some of the newer players just because they've been in it. So for Miles Kelly and for JP and for Tahad and, and Jakeem and, and Jakai, um, they've all done a really good job, I think, getting caught up on how we guard, but it's still, it's still new to them. And, you know, we're, 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 we're aggressive. We do a lot of switching. We do a lot of communicating. We change things up a lot. And it's a big adjustment coming out of uh, wherever you've been and come play defensively the way we defend. And, look, a year ago we were one of the best defensive teams in the country. Defense travels. And I'm hoping that's something we can count on this year. Um, and – like I said, off, I would say offensively, we we um, you know we're going to have to play better than we played Sunday to to be able to be more efficient scoring the ball. Um, so defense is going to have to be something we hold our hat on. You started the game against Furman with both Dylan and Janai on the floor. You know what have you seen from that combination and just you know Janai at the four? Well, you know I think that obviously um, Janai can play the four very easily because he can do things inside and out offensively and defensively. Um, and, um, you know, we, we, we started that way um, because I think both those guys have put themselves in position where they warrant that. I could start Cheney 
um, in a game and, and have it not be, you know, not have it be a factor. So I think I think right now that's what we're, we, we're, we, we, we're able to start that way. We may not always start that way. Um, but it, I think it also presents the op opponent with, with, with a challenge to guard our guys on the inside. At the same time, our front line was three for 14 in the first half at Furman. And that's not, that was not a good half of offense from our front line. Our front line has got to do a better job of finishing at the rim.